This 2021 Jeep Gladiator Mojave Edition in Stingray Clear Coat is stock number 21J148. We are here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Gladiator headquarters. I am Brett and I am excited to show you this brand new Jeep Gladiator today. This is our first Mojave in the Stingray color. A uh, really good color for the Gladiators and Wranglers that we found and uh, it's been probably one of the hottest colors we've seen in some time as far as popularity goes among Jeep owners and enthusiasts and uh, excited to get one with the Mojave package because I think everybody kind of likes that orange accent that uh, the Mojave package brings to the Gladiator um, vehicle. We shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second, so if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, smartphone, or TV, turn them on right now because it is definitely your best way to check out the color, styling, and options of the vehicle. So we like to do the outside walk around and then we uh, get, get up close and show you all the options with our, this particular Gladiator. Um, so the Mojave package gives you the desert rated badge with the gray and orange color scheme on there. You get the Jeep logo with the orange outlines. You'll notice that this one has the rock rails, which comes standard on the Mojave package. You get the special 17-inch painted and polished aluminum Jeep rims, and it has the Falcon Wild Peak AT tires. These are LT285 70R17s with an all-terrain tread pattern on them. You'll see that this one has a lift kit from the uh, factory, it's actually the tallest Gladiator you can get. It's a little bit taller than the Rubicon even. And uh, you get these Fox shocks with the uh, Jones bumpers and bypass, internal bypass on there and there are the Jones bumpers as well. And um, they actually are all aluminum so they dissipate heat pretty well. And uh, meant for off-roading of course. This one has the color match hardtop and the color match fenders. You get the Mojave sticker on the side of the hood. Now that those are just stickers so if you wanted to have those off you definitely could. You get the high air intake so it's high off the ground so you're not going to get a lot of sand and dust in there is the idea behind that. You get the LED running lights, the LED headlamps and LED halo lighting on there. These are running lights as well. You also get the LED fog lamps, and that's an option on this vehicle. I believe it's $16.95 to get the LED lighting group. Definitely, if you're actually going to be off-roading and everything with this, uh, a good package to get. You get the orange tow hooks in front. This one has the front-facing trail cam, which is pretty cool. We'll check that out in a little bit. couple little Easter eggs, you get these sandals in the plastic part right there. You get the Jeep climbing up the side of the windshield. You get the Torx 50 indicators on the door hinges so you know which Torx wrench to use to get the doors off. This one has the enter and go proximity uh, keyless entry system, which is an option as well. We're actually going to go through all the options on here. I'm not going to go through everything on the standard features, but all the option v uh, options I will go through. Feel free to pause this at any point or fast forward if you don't care. 3.6 liter with the electronic start stop, 8 speed automatic transmission. You get the Jeep Wave membership. Everything on the left there is your standard equipment, including those Fox shocks. The heavy duty Dana 44 inch wide front and rear axle has a 410 axle ratio. Um, all the skid plates that come with this vehicle and uh, everything else. Your optional equipment starts right there. The Stingray Clear Coats 245. The leather trim bucket seats are $16.95. You get the trailer tow package, which is $3.95, and the premium LED lighting group, I'm sorry, is $13.65, not $16.95. My bad on that. You do get the 8.4 radio and premium audio group, which is 1995. It gives you the nav, um, off-road pages, Alpine premium sound system, Sirius XM Guardian for a year, and Sirius Travel Link and Traffic Plus for five years. You also get the auto dimming mirror there. Jeep Active Safety Group, which gives you the blind spot and cross path detection system, is 895. Adaptive Cruise and Forward Collision Warning Plus is 795. 
The uh, tonneau cover on this vehicle by Mopar is $625. The automatic transmission is $2,000. The Select Track full time four wheel drive system $695. Remote keyless proximity entry $645. Color match hardtops $24.95 and the color match fenders are $6.95. So a total of uh, almost $3,200 just to get those color match fenders and hardtop. Wireless Bluetooth speakers $2.95. The 17 inch rims are $9.95. The remote start system is $4.95. The spray and bed liner is $4.95. And the forward facing trail cam is $5.95. Total MSRP on this vehicle is $62,905. If you want to get your summit price in the upper right hand part of your screen, there's a link to our website with all the rebates and incentives on this particular truck. So click that and check us out there. You're going to get 22 highway miles per gallon, 17 city, and 19 average. The front crash test rating is four and five stars, and rollover is three. They don't rate it for the other tests. We'll take a look as long as we're on this side at the wireless Bluetooth speaker. So it's located behind the back seats here. And since I'm on this side already, I can show that to you. So it's right here and it fits right into there and it actually charges when it's stored back here. So it kind of snaps in and um, that's always a nice little feature to have if you're tailgating or out somewhere and just want to listen to some music. The other cool thing is that these back seats lock with uh, your ignition key so you want to put valuables back there or you don't want anybody to steal your speaker you can lock that up we'll continue on the outside i do want to show you all the skid plates on this vehicle because there are quite a few of them basically the hole underneath is protected and that's if you're off-roading in the desert you don't want any rocks to mess up any of your drive line or anything like that you get those fox shocks back here as well and you can see everything is very heavy duty on this vehicle and that's for off-roading in the desert a lot of demand put on the vehicle also note when you get the color match fenders on the gladiators and the wranglers they put a 3m tape on there to help protect that from any sandblasting or rocks on the road which is nice that jeeps thinking about your investment you get the orange tow hooks back here, as well as the towing package. Um, four pin, seven pin wiring, receiver hitch, those backup parking sensors. Tailgate's nice and clean looking. You get the shock down assist tailgate, almost to the point where it doesn't want to go down. But uh, the spray and bed liner, that's your bag for your front hard top pieces. And then you do have the LED bed lighting back here. You turn those lights on with your um, cargo lamps, which are located inside the truck. But very nice spray and bed liner by Mopar. It's kind of like a Linex. Um, kind of grippy, but still smooth enough that you can slide stuff on it. That Mopar tonneau covers and really good looking, high quality piece. LED tail lamps as well. Just a really good looking Jeep. You get the blind spot monitoring, heated mirrors, enter and go system inside. You get the black leather interior with the orange stitching. You get the Mojave stitched into the backrest. Really nice leather, driver's seat height adjuster, lumbar. Get the factory floor mats, auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel, power windows, power locks, power mirrors. We'll hop inside and turn the ignition on so we can check out the radio. And everything inside here, you can see you get the Jeep animation when you turn everything on. You do get the digital speedometer, outside temp, compass display. Um, you have your fuel, water temp there as well. Um, also whether you're in two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, all that right on the screen. And all those corners are configurable, the compass and the temp. You can get them to read pretty much whatever you want. You get the thumb pads on the steering wheel, the orange stitching's on there as well. Cruise controls, adaptive cruise control, so it'll actually keep your vehicle a certain distance from the person in front of you. Um, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left. You do get the audio controls in the back of the steering wheel. This one has the 8.4 
4C radio, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. The factory nav. Remember, you get that Sirius Guardian for a year in Travel Link and Traffic Plus for five years. Um, there's your radio controls. And there's your Sirius. You have your climate controls here as well, including your dual climate controls. And then you have your backup cam, which is really HD. I love that Jeep made all the gladiators and wranglers with HD cameras. Now you can even do the zoom right over the receiver hitch. So when you're hooking up to your boat, camper, or trailer, you can get hooked up the first time every time. And then this front facing cam is pretty cool. So it actually gives you like um, grid lines where your tires are going to go. So I can see if you're doing a lot of off-roading, you can uh, kind of see where you're going to be heading and that you're not going to be getting into a problem or anything, which is pretty cool. And then you can clean the camera too, so it actually sprays a little bit of water or windshield washer fluid on there, so that's pretty cool too. And then you have all your different apps, including um, your projection manager, where you can project your cell phone to the screen via Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So if you've got a different navigation system that you like to use better than the factory, you can project that to the screen and use that. We actually did a demo on Android Auto. If you want to check that out, it's in the upper right-hand part of the screen, so click that and check us out there. You do get the off-road pages here as well. They do take a second to load, so while they're loading, I will tell you, you can do your climb controls on the more tactile buttons down there. It always says you may be lost but never stuck. And then you get your um, off-road pages here. So you got your steering angle, which is pretty cool. You have your transfer case, whether you're in two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, high or low. And then you have your rear axle locker if it's locked or unlocked. So I guess if you didn't know how to read the buttons down here, you can do it up there. Then you have all your different gauges right there, including your latitude, longitude, your altitude. Then you have your pitch and roll here, which tells you if you're off-road just how far of an angle you're pitched or rolled. And then you can check out the trail cam again from that particular screen. So lots of cool stuff that you can do with this radio and it's all included with the radio. There's no subscription fee for any of the stuff that I just showed you. Down here you have uh, start stop capabilities, your stability control, your parking sensors, you can turn those off and then you have crawl control right there. You can turn the whole screen off if you want. There are your window buttons, USB AUGS and USB C jack. Here's your axle lock. You can lock the rear axle only. You have your off-road mode, eight-speed automatic transmission, and your four x four shifter on the floor. You got the four high auto and four high part-time, and then you have neutral, four low, and then of course two-wheel drive. You get the heavy-duty chunky key fob, which I always liked on the Wranglers uh, when they came out with them. You always know which keys are going to be in your pocket, nice and heavy, and then it kind of fits perfectly right in there because it is a proximity key and it's a push button start but that way you never lose your key while you're driving and it sits in there and you can still have drinks in there so remote start on there as well i do like the dash on here you get this it's kind of a mineral gray metallic dash and it's it's got a little bit of texture to it i don't know if you can see that but it's, it's actually textured it's not completely smooth you get the orange vent bezels on there as well the orange stitching on the dash uh, these hard top pieces come off almost identically to the wranglers at least the front ones do you get the sos and assist buttons the auto dimming mirror and take note you get seven little notches up there i believe that's for your um, bluetooth microphone you do get the home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. And we'll do one more walk around here on the vehicle after we check out the back seats. And then I got all the lights turned on so you can see it with all the LED lights on. Back seats, uh, plenty of room back here just like the Wranglers. You get the latch child safety system. You do get storage underneath there with a bin so nothing rolls around. This is where you store all of your bolts for your hard top, windshield, and... Uh, doors and once again you can lock those back seats these headrests do fold down for better visibility it is a sliding rear window it's manual sliding and uh, you do get a little bit of storage space back here as well and of course you get the rear defrost but very cool vehicle child safety locks on the back doors too 
And we'll do one more final walk around here with all the lights on. Notice you do get the LED lights on the license plates, the LED lights on the tail lamps, and definitely the best looking gladiator I have seen on our lot. We had a hydro blue Mojave, which was really cool. You can check out that video if you want in the upper right hand part of the screen, but just a really good looking Wrangler. Love the color. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Gladiators, you name it, we got it. Go to that website right there, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Gladiator videos like this one in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to our latest YouTube video in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering the 2021 Jeep Gladiator in Stingray Clear Coat. Thanks again for checking out the video, and remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks again.